welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who have not been here before, my name is Kavina and I am super into budgeting and thrifting and finding good bargains to be able to get all the sparkly things that I could want, um, but at a Kavina acceptable price. So one of the most common questions I get is where do I find everything? And so the answer to that is um, many places, but I have typical places I tend to go to to find things that I'm looking for. So one of the um, main places I go, um, as you can tell from all the other videos on this channel, is I go to thrift stores. So one thing I recommend um, when you're going thrifting is I recommend that you um, go to thrift stores, firstly to get things at a cheap price, but also make sure you look everywhere within thrift stores. So I had hilariously planned on doing this video to be like, look at what you can find when you look in other sections. Um, but then it turned into much more than that because um, I am not into boob tubes. I'm not into things um, without straps. I just like the security, knowing my top's not going to fall off. Um, and don't like to just trust that it's like nice and tight. Um, and so I was looking in a section where um, they mainly just have like bandeau type tops. And found these two tops that were hung like they're a bandeau but turned out to be um, such cute adorable wins so this looks like what it looked like on the hanger but it actually is a halter and looks so amazing on I'll show you what that looks like um, here but as you can see it um, is fitted so perfectly um, it's not bandeau but it was hung in a bandeau way and it's from um, a brand called oh can't tell what this is um, from a brand called oh Q this is a Q top so um, it's extremely um, perfect in terms of the fit it's so lovely it's so unique and I'm utterly thrilled that I went into a section that I normally wouldn't shop in um, because that ended up being um, just one of my favorite finds from this thrift um, adventure the other one that was on uh, the hanger again also looked like it was bandeau was a top that just looked like this and at first I couldn't even tell what it was because it's not quite obviously a boob tube shape but it had some sparkle on it as you can see which is what caught my attention and so again I went to the change room and I'll insert footage I was so confused I was trying to put it on couldn't understand how this was to go on and then realized about halfway through that it was actually meant to be a halter and um, I'll insert now. <laughs> um, once I figured out what that it was a halter, I'll insert um, what it looks like on when you put it on properly. Um, but that's a forecast top, and um, it's a forecast top with tags. So it was on sale um, for forty five dollars. So for forty five dollars, um, and clearly never worn um, since it's new with tags what a great find um so i was so thrilled with when i was filming for you guys you know what you could find when you go into sections you normally don't go into i totally ate my own words because like i said i just i don't like bandeau type boob tube tops and this was just such a cabina find it fits me so perfectly um it says extra small and again in terms of if you've watched my other videos i don't pay any attention to what it says on the actual tag because i really do find that people tend to donate things that um, that don't fit them because the size isn't necessarily accurate from what it says on a tag. So I'm not an extra small, I assure you. I'm like small to medium, um, at best of times, usually a medium. <laughs> um, so that fits me perfectly and um, I'm very happy with that. Finally, um, I also went into, at the thrift store, a long dresses section. I don't like long dresses because I'm a very short person. I'm just over five feet tall if that I might be shrinking <laughs> and so five feet tall uh, long dresses just means I would have to you know pay to hem it and that's again more money that I don't want to spend I'd rather just put it on and bam it's you know a win for me this one I just I just love the splashes of blue on it I'm normally not into patterns um, and I really like I prefer solid colors and I prefer short shorter dresses um, and again I don't like anything that um, you know relies on your boobs holding it up um, but this one again also was halter um, this one miraculously fit me perfectly so I'll show you on the screen um, what that looks like but it, it lands you know, just at my ankles um, it's a perfect fit and I'm going to 
uh, Dubai and Abu Dhabi um, as well as various other countries on a cruise next month and I needed a long dress um, to fully cover me um, so I'll be wearing this with a jacket and so so happy with that again it's not, not something I normally buy but for five dollars and it's from uh, Reese Emporium and so very happy with that and for five dollars even if I wear it just a couple of times on my trip it will get its use so very pleased with those finds and so I'm definitely um, a fan of thrift shops um, so that's the first place I go to get my stuff the second place I go to is Facebook marketplace so Facebook marketplace is so good in terms of um, you just search in what you're looking for and then it will show you starting from the places closest to you um, to see if you know someone around you has it and um, they did so I typed in cupcake ferris wheel <laughs> because you know it's something I needed in my life um, but I'm always making cupcakes um, for my colleagues at work and the stand that I have always is slightly not enough and the stand that I have is so white and pretty um, and quite picturesque that I was just like oh I've seen this on like you know Instagram pages where they have them on a ferris wheel and I thought that'd be really cute but I don't want to spend more than five bucks five dollars Facebook marketplace total win and I got it from a, um, a neighbor in my neighborhood so happy with that and um, that's where I also go for you know if I just happen to you know need something household like you know especially like appliance and things like that people are just so reluctant to throw things out but then they you know price them at really low prices because at the end of the day it's not new and you can technically get like you know a toaster probably in store for like ten twenty dollars they tend to sell appliances for like five dollars um, so totally happy with that um, and that was a very much a win um, from the Facebook marketplace and then a third place that I tend to go to for um, for fines is garage sales so um, I feel like people are doing garage sales a little bit less unless now um, they're moving where they just really need to get rid of um, everything really cheap at a really um, really small price and so I managed to find um, uh, I needed a suitcase and I was driving past a garage sale in my neighborhood and they had this really high-end um, very well-built uh, carry-on suitcase and so um, I managed to snag this for uh, ten dollars and it's it's a hard case um, on wheels well obviously most suitcases these days are on wheels um, but it's basically brand new and in perfect condition, all zippers working, all things working. So very happy with that. So those are, so thrifting at thrift stores, Facebook marketplace and garage sales are where I find um, a lot of things. But the last place where I tend to find a lot of things is on the side of the road. So a lot of people, when um, they're getting rid of things, a lot of people nowadays are tending to put on the curb um, their items with a free sign on it and so that's where I got the last item so I'm just gonna go quickly grab it um, and it is or actually instead of grabbing it I might just do a pan um, over it now um, where basically um, as you can see it's this cute white little table it's like a little tripod white table I found it for free on the side of the road um, and it just was the perfect fit to go with my little cutesy, you know, cuddle corner there. Um, and I just put a Kmart sparkly placemat over top of it and a couple of knickknacks um, in my Google Home um, thing on it. And it's just a perfect little side table and free. So it can't beat that price and it's a very cute addition to that corner. Alright, and so the last and fifth place that I normally get all my stuff is Facebook groups. There's all kinds of buy, swap, sell pages um, that I'm a part of, so you can get them um, often for your neighborhood or for the city, um, as well as fashion groups, and so I'm part of um, Canberra Fashion Exchange, um, the Northside um, buy, swap, sell pages, and the Canberra uh, buy, swap, sell pages, um, because those are all ones that are convenient. Uh, to me and tends to have um, people who are in the same kind of locality selling items so be it Canberra Fashion Exchange which is fashion exchange in Canberra um, or buy swap sell pages for the Canberra uh, region and it basically just allows me to buy what I need um, and ensure that it's close um, to get all those things at a secondhand price so for example 
in the footage that you just saw with the egg chair, and I'll insert more footage of the egg chair. Um, I got that egg chair um, secondhand through one of the buy swap sell pages on Facebook, and so that one was a hundred dollars um, secondhand, and so they're often egg chairs are crazy expensive. They're you know they could be anywhere between three hundred dollars to like a thousand dollars. Um, and this one was excellent quality um, and just beautiful for what I wanted it for. And so I have the perfect reading nook over there and a reading nook over here. We are a very intense readers in our house. This is not just decoration. We've actually read all of these books. <laughs> so um, pet peeve when people just have books um, and don't actually read them. Ours are not decorations. <laughs> we like we like these books that are behind us. Um, so and um, which is how we justify the entire wall. Um, so thank you so much for watching this. I uh, hopefully, uh, these were helpful tips to you. So again, my top five, uh, thrifting places are, uh, thrift shops, garage sales, uh, Facebook marketplace, Facebook buy swap sell pages and off the side of the road. <laughs> so, um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.